so cool? Science! Science you can do right at home. I'm just in this sinkhole that leads into this cave and go to learn today's science file. And today's science file, it says... How do sinkholes and caves form? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a jar, some dirt, a toilet paper tube, some sugar or flour, and some water. Start by getting yourself a jar and some toilet paper for the tube. <laughs> Listen, save the tea being for Halloween. Okay, you're gonna take your tube and you're gonna put it in the jar like this. And now you're gonna get yourself some dirt. After the show, Crazy Chris likes to walk. Whoa! Well, I mean, I mean, this kind of dirt. Okay, you're gonna pour your dirt all the way around the outside of your toilet paper roll. And now you're gonna get yourself some flour powder. Peaceful man. <laughs> I said flour powder. <laughs> you're gonna take your flour powder and you're gonna pour this inside your toilet paper too. Carefully remove your toilet paper tube and use your jar of dirt to fill in the rest of the jar. Finally, get yourself some water and you're gonna pour a little bit of water over the top of your jar. Cheers. Whoa, check that out, man. A sinkhole formed in the jar. Now that's so wicked cool. So, why does a sinkhole form in the jar? And how do sinkholes and caves form in nature? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Caves and sinkholes both form pretty much the same way, except that caves result in a hollow chamber inside the Earth's crust. As rainwater picks up carbon dioxide from the air and acids from the soil components, the water dissolves a layer of limestone, carrying pieces of limestone away that get dissolved in the water. The weight of the earthy layer collapses on itself to form a sinkhole. Caves form pretty much the same way except that caves result in a hollow chamber in the earth's crust. Caves start out as a layer of limestone from an ancient sea that gets covered over by a layer of harder rock. As this layer of limestone gets dissolved over 300,000 years, this carves an empty chamber in the earth's crust. If the ceiling is made of a hard enough rock layer, it forms a cave. Stalactites form from dripping water that seeps through the Earth's crust. As water drips out of the rock above, it leaves behind small amounts of minerals it picked up as it passed through the Earth's crust. Stalagmites form when water hits the ground of the cave and deposits minerals. As these minerals build up over time, you get stalactites and stalagmites. So now you know more about speleology, you know, making your own sinkhole right at home is why science is so cool.